Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Phoenix Rising. It just finished upgrading. And I can't help but notice there's no further upgrade. Really? It's not like... Huh. Interesting. I guess the independence class only gets one, one level of upgrade. That's interesting. Okay, well. Got Dalmea coming up to give a better discount on whatever comes next. I think... I think I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next. I did hmm. We do, we do want to head towards level two, but I mean, on the one hand, I don't want to tie up all of our research with just doing this. On the other hand, this is going to take a long time. Four months. Three weeks. Unless that's a build time and not research time. I'm not sure. Either way, that is just forever. So, like, there's an argument to be made for getting it started early. I am going to go ahead with the defense trippers. That's not terribly expensive. On the way. But yeah, I, I suppose we probably should, right? And, and to be fair, we do have Kraken here giving a 25% reduction, so that would knock off little over a month. Do we just go ahead with it? Researching. Yeah, we might as well. And then use the rest of those credits Moving. that we've got to keep building ships. I went ahead and... Oh, no, I didn't. I went ahead and got all of the heroes available on these two planets. Just in case. Alderaan I'm not too concerned about anymore because we're about to, you know, and, and there's not really any fleet over here. This could be a concern at some point, but the main thing I'm worried about is Corellia. So... Yeah, definitely want to get them. But, I mean, it can't hurt to have more heroes available, right? Though, well, speaking of heroes available, he's almost finished. He's about halfway. So, yeah, we're about ready to go. Getting some of the new and improved B wings. Should be a pretty good boost to damage. I the the thing is, if you actually look at the stats, in terms of bomber, these things are about like twice these. I think, ish. So, in terms of like effective, like what you get out of them, one of these is worth two of these, ish. And I don't think it's quite exact, but ish. 
I'm going to move him because I'm reasonably certain that that does not stack. Um, you know what? I'm going to get him all the way back over here where we're doing other research. But yeah, so far it is looking like we're going to be able to do the Arcania battle this episode. Fingers crossed. Station ready. Station I'm also ready. reasonably certain that we do have enough to do that. In terms of forces. Certainly once we've got some decent uh buffs your should orders. certainly help. I heard I heard a, a a bloop. What was the bloop? Really? No kidding. It's not the first time they've done that, but last time it was very um uh, kind like half-hearted didn't didn't really go anywhere this time though they might that's not what I clicked they might just be able to do something let's send him because he's in a squadron without any other people there aren't any other heroes there with that squadron all right, Tico Kelchu, headed for Shampala. Probably going to end up on Dreria because that's how this works. Wow, shocking. I think that's about the first time that has actually done that correctly. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and wait for Horn. Um. I'm not going to wait for all of these, but we should be able to get one or two more before he's ready. We do still need to get them the Millennium Falcon out there. Oh, well, hello there. Do we send them as well? I kind of feel like not. Just because he's in a rather larger ship and we're really relying on the, um, the strike craft. Easier than the Kessel Run. His, his YT is, is not, it's not large, but if it's going to be the largest ship in the battle, that's a problem. Like, if it was, if we had... A bunch of other transports with us then sure but as it is I don't think that's a good idea though speaking of transports I think we go with these next uh, once we're done with um mm, either one of these I guess honestly probably doesn't matter terribly but yeah, uh, gammas seems like a really good thing to have. Building started. Mon Calamari cruiser here. Mon Calamari cruiser here. Uh, what? I don't remember building one. Wait, is that this? Oh, it's this. Oh, nice. Cool. Do we send that up to him? I'm going to say, sure, why not? On my way. It doesn't actually fit in the fleet, technically. But I mean, unit in production. It's a bit more um 
deterrent, I guess. A bit more that we can say, hey, don't don't attack us. We've got ships and stuff, I guess. To be honest, I don't think even even if we had more than a few Mark Threes, it would make much of a difference if they decide to attack us. Oh. God, I did that. Yeah. A little bit of a risky maneuver, but... It should give a bit of a bonus next time they attack there, which I'm almost certainly they will. Let's go. And we can get those forces off of there just fine. Large active. Trucking well again, huh? Oh. Oh, they actually took it this time. But what's Moving the fleet out. look like? You know, that's not insubstantial. They're upgrading their tectors. Um, I don't think that's anywhere near a match for the, uh, the battleship, though. Certainly not that absurd fleet with all of the fully upgraded, um, quasars. Not even. So that fleet must be... I mean, I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Um, we're just about ready here. Mm, he's taking his sweet time. Do we do we still wait for him? I suppose we should. Go ahead and send these guys in. I mean, they had two two fighters over there, or was that bombers? I think those were, um, the, uh, the war pods. Oh, look! That fleet! No, not quite that fleet. They had way more of these. I wonder where they ended up. Still, this could absolutely crush that Imperial fleet. Which is something we very well might see happen any time now. So that's exciting, I guess. Had to cancel the research there. Um, accidentally spent too many credits without realizing it. I needed to, uh, for some reason, I thought the admin had already gone through and it had not. And um, we were about to take advantage of the way the system works unfortunately, so we'll have to get that queued up again. Interesting. The B-Wing E-3, the B-Wing E-2. The E-3 is the one with the bombs. They both take the same pop cap in tactical. Preparing for jump to light speed. Kind of expect them to take a little bit more, but no. That's, um... All the more reason that having upgraded units is a plus. Because the increase in pop cap is not proportional to the increase in actual combat power. Let's move out. Tactical battles imminent. Oh no. <sighs> These two planets are really getting on my nerves. I cannot move stuff correctly. Nothing wants to go into the slot you tell it to go into. And this is just... Uh... Okay, what have you brought this to... Why? No, come on now. Man... What am I supposed to do against that? Okay, I guess we're building all of the AA. <sighs> we 
we were just about ready to do Arcania too. Um. D2B over. This is gonna be frustrating. Got one. Yes, okay. Sir. Go! D2B, copy. Oh look, they're slightly Ready, upgraded, sir. so Ready, they sir. can be even, even more frustrating about not being useful. On it, sir. You guys, out. I'm going to replace these. They've never been useful as they are, and I think yes, having AA is going to be way more valuable. I think we'll replace that as well. Um Ready to roll. Roger that. Form up. Right. Can you take that? Awaiting orders. Copy. Um Got it. Yes. What's that? Oh right. The infiltrators that are really hard to see. That. Ready, sir. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit feel like of course oh and then the, they've Sauce also got ready. all of the droidica Juggernaut ready do we not oh there's the the repairs over there why is the repair over there as you wish armored transport ready ready to help i right think where are we headed sir confirmed we're going to use these guys to get Orders. people places faster Plotted. All right, and the lag spike, and Ready. more lag. Go. Yes, up. Half tempted to just sit hunkered under the shield, but I don't think that'll help. Construction complete. Construction complete. Armed and ready. Reporting in. Copy that. that way. They're shooting at us. We will fight if we must. Where am I needed? You know what? Fine. Armors. Just, just stop orders? it. Heading out. Ready for combat. I this don't way. know why this is ready necessary. Armor ready. All right, you can't sell when you're paused, because reasons. We've yes, secured a build pad. Ready. We've secured a build pad. Turret constructing. Turret constructing. Roger that. Over here. I'll follow your lead. Awaiting your instructions. At your command. Awaiting orders. Construction complete. Copy. Ready, We've sir. We've captured a mercenary outfitter. Turret has been sold. I copy. Can we aid you? Going there now. Turret constructing. Turret constructing. Yes. We've secured a build. Right pad. away. Give me a um, You guys should actually be behind that. Ready. Can you turn around, possibly? We've secured a landing zone. Construction Don't know that that'll work, but it's worth a try. Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. Moving ahead. Roger. Keep going. Ready. Heading out, sir. Affirmative. Fall out, troops. Let's move out. Let's go. Mercenary outfitter destroyed. Prepared. Can I help? Can do. 
Reporting. Going. Mm, you know yes, what? Sir. En route. I want these. Hi there. Oh, Weapon come on, up. man. This way. T4B, Form up. Actually, you guys get into the bunker. Oh boy, here they come. Transport here. All right, I didn't get these ones Turret built. Transport ready. No, come on. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Um. Concentrate on a single individual. No, oh, they're not. They're, we're not. But the turbo laser just got that one. Did you see that? Construction complete. Construction complete. Auxiliaries. Interesting. I wonder where they got them. Juggernaut ready. Ready to roll. Roger that. Advancing. Ready. Right. Waiting orders. Unit destroyed. Right away. You guys are just going to get mashed if you sit there. Don't think that's a good idea. Oh, oh, that that right there? Yeah. That is a good place for them. For sure. Um, torpedoes away. Maybe. Our base is under attack. This one is I mean it's slightly below the ridge of that that little that little dip down towards the river, but I think it can still fire. Should be fine. Awaiting orders. Copy. Copy. Moving out. One Droidica should not be a problem. What is shooting? Oh. Fallout troops. We're right behind you. Um, I'll kind of sit here. We've lost a build pad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take some of that, fool. These guys are in a great location. Look at that. They can see the whole hill. Can fire away. They've got the missiles. Plus, they've got repair right behind them. Hi. Copy. You guys, you guys. Forward. Hmm. Reporting in. Don't get too close. Or, well, far away, I guess. Ready to roll. Yeah, like that, that. Like what you're doing. We've secured a build pad. Um. U series. Interesting. I think the P series is the Mark One, like really cheapo, not very good Droidica. Come on, one more. Oh, okay. More than one more. Interesting. Oh, there are so many Droidica. You guys do realize that these don't function as normal infantry, right? Like, you can't use them like that. They're support. Um... I don't know. Somebody actually, you know what? I do know. Always ready, sir. You guys. Moving out. Get in the bunker. Uh 
I'm half tempted to speed it up, actually, at the moment. Just because this stage is likely to take a while. The stage where they're... Fiddle farting around with their droidica, going back and forth for some reason. Construction complete. Yes. Why are you going forward? Please do not. What do you have? Heavy blaster rifle, sonic pistol. Go ahead and get into the thingy. Should we speed it up? Eh, yeah, why not? I I I would have expected to be just absolutely swarmed with those fighters by now. What what are they doing? I built a whole bunch of AA specifically for the purpose. There they go. We've secured a build pad. That's not great. I copy. Right away. Come. Come Move back over here. You're not going to be much use anyway. Oh. Actually hit something with it. Oh gosh. We've secured yeah. a build pad. That. Our base is under attack. Oh gosh, what are we meant to do about this? Reporting. Heading out. I've got him in my sight. Really doing a number to the old tower there. Um, Triple laser tower destroyed. Yeah. We've secured a build pad. That one slowed down. Wait, it really shouldn't have. I mean, ready. even if we lose the shield, I don't think. I mean, I, it, eventually they're just going to end up destroying things because there's so many of them and there's so little we can do. Oof. Getting some pretty substantial hitching. I don't know what that is. Kind of weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the Mark IVs of those guys are yes, no joke. Open. Did we lose one? Roger well, Going there now. not exactly, but Ready. he seems lost. Attack. Go, Rocket, go! Yeah. Oh, they are so fast. This is absurd. Whose decision was it to give these things that kind of speed? I realize, like... 3,000 kilometers per hour? I cannot, off the top of my head, think of what the speed of a modern fighter jet is. Hey, okay. I just looked it up, because I was curious. The F-22 has a maximum speed of 2,414 kilometers per hour. 
which is Mach 2.25. So, these things, the K225 Arrow Interceptor, like, that's not so far out of the range of possibility for for a you know, atmospheric fighter jet. But here's the thing. These maps are not large enough to warrant that kind of speed. So why, I say why, are these things so fast? On it, sir. Like, I don't... Realism is great and all, but... but or at least, you know, something that, that could theoretically go that kind of speed, having that kind of speed, that's fine. But, but context is important, and in this context, that is just ridiculous. Especially when we have missiles that are not fast enough to catch them. Like having having an aircraft Our base is that's capable of going that speed, fine. If the surface to air missiles are faster, then yeah, that's fine. But they're not. The 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 freaking blaster bolts and and turbo laser rounds are having trouble tracking these things like catching them that's ridiculous awaiting orders move out d2b over sir armed and ready <sighs> reporting in over there what are your orders Just about to tell them to go together and no you can't do that don't do that wait there's another one over here there's another two of them over here oh they're they're way high up aren't they oh <laughs> yes they are did you see it flash across the screen there it is oh that's see what is this nonsense i uh, that I have no idea what it, like, hi, there is nothing we can do to that, nothing at all, like actually though, functionally, we can do nothing. D2B, copy, I copy. Oh, we lost the dingle. The dingle thingle. Also that one, but that's not yes, as big a deal. Potentially. We've secured a yeah, we took quite a bit of damage there. And that's just the second yes, wave of those things. Constructing. Repair station constructing. What can we do? Let's go! We've secured a build pad. You need us, sir. Ready to help. I copy. Moving out. Awaiting orders. And then we're gonna just cluster around that. Ready. Their Construction repair. Complete. Construction complete. So that when they come back, we'll have... Uh, you know what? No, stay here. Gonna do this again, almost certainly.
Keep going. Constructing. Copy. I copy. Form up. I don't feel like we have any particular way of finding out what they're doing. Is there anything we can afford to just send in there? Awaiting orders. Eh, not really. Reporting. Normally I'd say, Got sure, me. send in the useless AA, but in this specific instance, it's not so useless. Oh, there's there goes another one. Mm-hmm. This is a little lower down this time. Just just sitting up there loitering. Oh, you jerk. We got it at least. Um Yeah, you're just gonna have to do that and wait for the next wave. thing about those that I don't know is how many they get per company. What? Oh, wow. Okay, I thought they came in companies that were like 8 or 10. They must not. They must only come in a few. Like 2 or 4 maybe. Interesting. I do think that was the closest they've come to actually overwhelming us in, not ever, but in a long while. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got these guys. Is it possible that we can upgrade anything else? Not at the moment. I mean, I guess these guys, but uh, they they weren't uh, having upgraded rangers wasn't actually wasn't exactly a deciding factor of any kind. Ugh, really wish they would have used that ground force to fight with them. Well, that's slightly frustrating because that's kind of put us in. A situation where, again, we don't really have the time to do that. Especially since I need to figure this nonsense out. Hmm. Eh. That's where they ended up. Or other reinforcements. The, 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 the whole... The, the whole everything just got all mixed up. Can we please land there? Can you please come this way? Are we good? I think we're good. I don't want to leave that fleet over there for too long. Because as soon as we launch these, this planet will only have this defending it. And that fleet is large and scary. Need to get them back over there as soon as we can. Which, now that I think about it, we, we, we can. Right now. Um, what do you get? Oh! Oh! gets put into an A-wing instead of a, an X-wing? Yeah. Well, if he makes it through this battle, we might consider something like that. Is Horn ready? No, still. Okay, well, I suppose we wait for him to finish, get him over there, and that is unfortunately going to have to do it for this episode. Okay, is that everybody? We've got Leia Organa, we've got Tico Kelchu, we've got Corrin Horn. We've got a whole mass of bombers of several types. And a whole mess of fighters 
also of several types. <sighs> to be honest, if this can't do it, then I don't even know. Like, that many, certainly that many B-Wings should be able to take this out. Everything else is kind of just extra. Or, you know, fighter defense. So, assuming they don't have a huge amount of anti-fighter backup, which... Uh, it's that's an awful big assumption, but I don't know. I don't know what else we're supposed to do. But assuming that that is the case, we should be able to do that just fine. And I'm I'm gonna tell ya, I'm launching that attack immediately next episode. So hopefully nothing can get in the way. Oh, what's that? PX4 Mobile Command Base Platoon. Oh, that looks like our... our thingies. What are they, what are, what are they actually called? Heavy Tracker. Yeah, same sort of abilities. Looks like it's their variant of that. Yep. Interesting. Although theirs doesn't float. But yes, that, unfortunately, is going to have to do it. Next episode, we are attacking Arcania. The only way next episode isn't us attacking Arcania is if something happens between us traveling this line. So, yeah. Which, I mean, it's... it's such things have happened before, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be in time. So... I will say thank you for watching. Take care. Station ready. And farewell. Set. At this rate, the admin isn't going to be coming through until like the month after it's actually supposed to be taking effect. Kind of impressive, honestly. <laughs>